Hi, I'm The Rap Critic, and these are the top five worst lyrics I happened to hear in the last month. Let's get started. Ah yes, another one of those MC-like classics from back in the day. Oh snap, Missy Elliott's on this too? I, I don't remember her being on this song. Maybe she's talking about uh, he hee-haw? Hee-haw? Uh, the country comedy show from the 70s? I mean, she did previously mention something about Barnes, although you wouldn't notice if you heard the edited version. From VAA and I'll be all day. Yeah, this is back when instead of reversing a curse word or replacing it, they would just have long pauses there. And since MCs curse a lot, it usually came out sounding like the rapper was fading in and out of reality. But now that we're on the subject, what's the point of cutting out the phrase, in the barn? I get that they wanted to cut out smoking hay, but why did they cut out the barn reference? The wordplay is already convoluted to begin with, so what, did they think if people heard the phrase in the barn, they'd somehow be able to connect that the previous phrase that was cut out was a reference to smoking pot? Because... I really doubt someone would be able to do that. And then they edited out damn it and darn. And, and maybe I can see damn it, but darn? Do the children need to be protected from the word darn? Is that the gateway curse word that leads to harder and stronger curse words? I don't know, it just sounded like someone was nodding off on the mute button for too long and they just didn't care to change it. Dude, all right, we know. We know you have millions of dollars, all right? And honestly, no one talk about it. Wait, what? No, I don't talk about it. Go. Oh, so I guess you're just as bored with bragging about money as we are. So I guess we can end the song now, right? Uh, all right. I shoot a nigga kid. No, I don't talk about it. Oh. Uh. Well, I understand that that might be a little traumatic for you, and you might not want to talk about it. All right. Goodbye. I fuck the greatest bitches. I don't want to talk about. It. You know what? No one's making you. In fact, according to your album sales, by 2008, no one wanted to hear G Unit talk about anything. Why? So you can say that you don't want to tell us? So I can see the end zone. My bitch roll out the window so I can feel the wind blow. Okay, so what you're saying is, I don't want to talk about fancy cars and money. Uh, uh, unless you ask me, in which case I want to talk about fancy cars and money. Got big enough for me to fiddle on my kid, folks. I don't know about you guys, but in my head, fiddling with family members usually alludes to sexual abuse. In which case, yeah, maybe you shouldn't talk about that. Let's Google the new word for wealth on the computer. I'm friends with a guy that designs the way money looks in the future. So you're bragging about knowing the guy in the U.S. Treasury who will sometime in the future eventually create the design for the $20 bill? Okay, let's just make a brag test for rappers. If what you're saying could fit right in with a monologue by a crazy homeless person, you've written a bad lyric. So what's the survey on this one? I'm friends with the guy that designs the way money will look in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that passes. Looking like he's seen the ghost with his pale face. Gotta love it, it's the media. I'm the biggest rapper, Google me Expedia. Expedia? So the website that helps you set up travel plans is where we should look for you when searching your name on Google? Well, he did say that he's the biggest rapper. Maybe he's embraced his fatness so much he decided to actually get his own zip code that you could search for on Expedia to travel to. I'm trying to make sense out of this. Biggest rapper, Google me Expedia. Wait, did did you mean to say Wikipedia? Dude, do you not know the difference between Expedia and Wikipedia? Oh, wow. I mean, I guess I understand. They do share the last three syllables of their name together, but that's like a mistake you make when you're someone's out-of-touch dad who's really trying to be cool by bringing up internet words. I mean, confusing Wikipedia with Expedia, dude, who does that? What an awkward, silly lyric that could have been avoided by five seconds of fact-checking. Oh, wow. Dude, you just, you just got that one wrong, didn't you? At least Rick Ross's rhyme was because of a confusion with syllables. You, on the other hand, what other word could you possibly be mixing that up with? So you wanted to shake it like someone who shakes, someone who might be shaking because of some disorder, right? Because you tried to break out a big word to make people think you were being slick with the wordplay or something, but what, what could that word have been? Because it certainly can't be paraplegic. What was the word that he meant there? Para... no... Uh, anemic? Uh, shaking, shaking, uh, uh, para... Uh, shaking... epileptic? Wait, did you mean to say epileptic there? Were you looking for epileptic and you got paraplegic? That's... 
incredible how off base that was. You meant to find the word for a type of person who shakes due to a seizure, and instead not only found a word that doesn't even remotely sound similar to it, you used the word for a type of person that by definition of their condition cannot shake their ass. But hey, female fans of Nelly, you heard him. So the next time you see Nelly, be sure to shake your ass for him in a manner befitting of someone who is literally incapable of doing so. Or maybe the point of his rhyme is to tell you not to shake your ass for him. Maybe he's turning over a new leaf and he's telling women to not degrade themselves for him in such a manner, to keep themselves in their seats at his shows and respect his personal space and ultimately to respect themselves and their dignity. Yeah, probably not.